Good evening, and here I have with me is Dr. N.K. Datta. He's the founder and principal of Miles Bronson Residential School. Good evening, Good evening. and welcome to Icons of Learning 2017 Awards. And can you tell me a little bit more about your school? I had a humble beginning. I started with 17 students with a dream to have a complete boarding school in the northeastern part of India. And it is a first of its kind school at that context of time. It was envisioned to cater to the needs of the students who are residing, whose parents are residing in far flung interior areas. So I thought that we need to address to this need, and that's how Miles Bronson came up. That is very, very commendable, I have to say. Thank you. And also, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about, um, you were mentioning a humble beginning. Yeah. So how has uh, the school prospered from the humble beginning? Well, I started without any resources and without educational uh, qualification as an educator, formal education as an educator, uh, with 17 students in a small rented house in 1987. Then the surging demand for from the parents uh, came up and gradually the school grew from 17 students. Now we, we are at our own complex, which is around in spread over an area of 30 acres of land with all avenues for quality education and we have now 615 students. Wow, that's a huge growth. And also all the way here to Singapore where you have won an award, how do you feel about it? Yeah, it reinforces the whole thing like it gives you confidence, it makes you feel that whatever you're doing is something to be appreciated and with all humility you feel that yes, I mean, there's more responsibility <laughs> because there's a recognition. <laughs> and also, what was one of the biggest takeaway from the panelist discussion? I was thinking about these disruptions and there's uh, quite a bit of reading uh, on this and, uh, it, and especially about the skills because in India, there's a huge, you know, the number of youth populations growing and more than 75% of the population is within the age group of, I mean, infancy to 35 years. And by 2025, 20, uh, there are millions of jobs looking for skills, soft skills and basic skills. And in this context, it was uh, very illuminating for me because I have been very innovative in this field and we have started for the first time maybe in our country in a school a life skill development center so in this regard uh, listening to the panelists was very in, in, enriching for me all right thank you so much for being with us here this evening congratulations once again yeah and we wish you continuous success yeah thank you for questioning me i hope i met with your expectations oh definitely size. don't worry thank you so <laughs> thank much you. Thank you.